Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Roadman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play of the Kingdom of Bavaria. And this is the fifth time recording this episode, because through various parts I have had multiple crash to desktops, so I am very much aware of um, what happens in this action. Uh, really frustrating, the first few times I played it, uh, I, we had good games, we still won, it was complicated, but we still won. But I've had multiple crash to desktops, so yeah, I will show you what my plan was during the first action and then explain uh, why that was a bit problematic. Uh, because we're being attacked by multiple armies from multiple directions, what I did previously was think, okay, let's not deploy directly in my deployment zone, let's try and deploy off to the left. Because there's some quite useful terrain features on the left so when <laughs> when the uh, the game feels it right to load up so this is the deployment zone and I was there going where to defend where to defend oh this looks pretty cool so I deployed around this hill form a little redoubt and Empire War Empire Total War being Empire Total War uh, one of the armies attacking us is a full stack uh, Russian army and guess where it would, it would have come in and if your guess was right behind me your guess was correct that is exactly where the, the Russian army comes in so I deployed out here the Russians were coming in from here there was a Polish force here then another two Polish forces were coming in from here so this was really messy it was still a victory but it was real messy whereas my reinforcements come in from over here still really quite far away so yeah I'm gonna take that knowledge uh, and roll with it and just say right let's just fight this battle in a reasonable way I'm gonna still take my weakest units and the guns deploy them like so because they're just gonna run straight off the edge Let's deploy some of my guns. The one thing I do know is that the bulk of the enemy threat actually comes from their cavalry, especially from the Russians reinforcing. So I'm going to want uh, anti-cavalry defences for that. And then I'm going to want to keep one of my guns back. They're going to hike up to the top of this hill and fire over our heads. These guys have their... Sorry, I had a bit of a weird little burp there. Um, okay, you guys have deployed... So you guys are going to deploy... Uh, is there must be a... There we go. Okay, there we go. Pick one. Just fill out the line with a cavalry defence. So start off by picking these guys. Oh, I almost clicked start. My howitzers are going to do the same thing. They're going to hike back a little bit and fire over our heads. And then the general is going to take a position here. So that's everyone. Deploy. Run. Although you can see the uh, the Russians do deploy quite close to our line. Ah, you. So it's another general coming in. So everyone's left the field. Uh, Twelve pounders. Get back. So you see oh, all this enemy cavalry coming in. And they're going to start charging. Boost a canister shot, get my guns just to keep attack, attacking ground. I'm not worried about who we attack. Just a second, guys, I've got to clear my nose. Okie dokie. See, this is heavy horse artillery. Kill the enemy general. Oh, they hit the one unit of mine that was actually 
not in square. Get the cavalry up here. Because that's quite a large enemy charge on the way in. Team and charge. General's bodyguard's going to stay here just to hold the line. Uh, who's that? It's the general's bodyguard. Canister shot still going off pretty well. So yeah, so these are the Polish armies that oh, Polish army that complicates my deployment on this hill. Let's get back over to where we were. Bring out the line infantry guards. No, don't walk. Run. And limber the howitzers, although they are actually going to be too close. So if you guys can catch... Okay, this is this has happened before. <laughs> They're too close. So I have to charge my cavalry in. They're not going to get caught on my own cavalry defences, but they are likely to get stomped. So I need to take my infantry push. This infantry storming up, so another aspect of how I've played this campaign, play this battle, is that I treat my initial forces as a breakwater, unlimber my guns, halt fire with my artillery. form a new defensive line behind my troops. Take this wing, pull them back. Something a bit more stable. Bring my general back. I mean, I'm getting... I don't know why I do this sometimes. Sometimes it feels like it works. Get my howitzers back. Okay, where's my cavalry? So the first army that went in was already vulnerable. Run my cavalry back. Yeah, the first the first force that went in was vulnerable. So what I'm going to do is switch you guys fire upon that cluster of enemy men so this is something you have to be prepared to do at points it's going to kill my own men for sure but I don't really have much of a choice because that's a hell of a stampede coming our way oh noise why Horse artillery pull back, how it's just pull back even further. Because I look at this. Just swarm, swarm, swarm. This is a bit different though, actually, because I can swing in from the flank, cease fire the guns. You men fight. Because I can take my cavalry, scoot them around this position. Try hit the Russian formation in the rear. Should probably have sent my generals in here as well, but... So the pikes have broken. My guardsmen keep pushing on. You're going to attack the curious of those guards on the flank. Just keep running up reinforcements. So this is quite similar to how the previous battle went. My heavy horse artillery is going to unlimber. Charge my... Charge one of my generals straight into the 
the enemy centre. Yeah, so my infantry are very upset. Freud Corps push it up. Curacier, keep hitting the Marines. Everyone else, keep driving in. My general has heroically fallen, but we have another to take his place. Push more infantry up into the center. You guys have to engage. Heavy horse artillery attack. You're attacking 12 pounders in the distance. Howitzers limber up. No, you're going to round shot the enemy guns as well. Well, that's a large enemy component routing there. Polish cavalry going to get caught on my defences. Send in the grenadiers straight into the gap. So that's a hell of a gap there they formed in my lines, but we've got grenadier guards right here. Curiosity wavering. How about you? Horse Grenadier Guards are getting involved. I'm hoping. Bolster the centre. You guys try deploying to square. Send in another General's Bodyguard. My artillery is doing okay. 12 pounders are engaging. 12 pounders are limber. More infantry piling into the front. So you can imagine, after fighting this battle a good few times, uh, it starts to get a bit frustrating. Not that it's, not that there's anything massively wrong with it. Ooh, my howitzer, my foot artillery are upset for some reason. Oh, probably howitzer fire. More fry, more infantry pushing the line. New men get out of square. Charge the Russian flank. But you soon start to see how uh, the enemy Zerg rush does just eventually crumble. And now we have overwhelming artillery support. So let's take my some of my good infantry, form a line. You men withdraw. Some Jaegers coming in. General's bodyguard. Try kill the rest of their gunners. The other guns engage. These Polish elements coming in. No, you're a good infantry unit. You hold back. Grenadiers. Push into the irregulars because you're right there. Pivot the line. So some th this shows how important reinforcements can be at times. Combine my cavalry. Not quite sure what where you were supposed to be. Is that the grenadiers that were supposed to be in that position. They will fight to the death, these enemies ahead of them. Man for man, they'll beat mercenaries for sure, but then they will like you route. Bring in more cavalry, push the artillery back. Form square. The 22nd Polish cavalry are on the way in. They're being shot by their own men. Here comes the howitzer fire. Excellent shooting. Cavalry's pushing in. I mean, look at all. <laughs> There's a lot of dead bodies here. Push the artillery back. I mean, really, I want my grenadiers to come back because otherwise they're just going to get chewed up by enemy cavalry formations. But now we have our own. Drive them up on the right flank. Owens all in engage the tenth. Another general's fallen. General's dropping like flies. I don't mind if the mercenaries are out. 
for my dragoons here. Going to cut these guerrilla mercenaries open. And they're going to swing into the twin general's bodyguard. Bring back my cuirassier to hit the twenty-fourth. Combine all my artillery fire against those Kamluks. How about you? Kill the enemy general. Go after the Kamluks, which means artillery just cease fire. The enemy is nearly completely routed. Yes, Kamluks. Let everyone swing onto the third light horse, and I believe that is that that's the last enemy element on the field. But yes, this is why you have <laughs> um, reinforcements. Because even now I've still got a good infantry component entering the battle. But now it's the end of the battle there, I could chase them down and try and kill them, but I've done it too many times. I'm not gonna do it again. Yeah, this army is in desperate need of refit. Uh, auto that one. So Lviv will be ours. Now it's up to Russia. It looks like Russia is hastily abandoning their allies. And pulling out of this part of the world. They're more than welcome to send their agents to steal technology. It will not save them. Uh, no, you can... Uh, just kill them. <laughs> and you. It's doing damage to us, but we're not pushing with this army yet anyway. I've fought this a few times as well. I'm not... I just can't do it again. <laughs> just can't. I just can't. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I've had, I've had so many... Crash to desktops with this episode. I know what's going to happen. I just can't hack it. Like, I know these guys are going to do something. <laughs> I know they're going to sail from their Icelandic ports and land off of the Netherlands, I think. So, apologies, guys, but my, I'm just frazzled. So, you fellas are going to replenish. Recruit two more units of not heavy artillery just come on two units of foot plus can I get a royal car infantry guard I'll take a bit of time but again this is a front that I'm okay with being fairly static so you're gonna swap places with this army Good. Upgrade the palatial estate, repair the port. So yeah, we've got plenty of troops up here in Persia. And nope, keep recruiting. My mistake. Keep building new recruitment facilities. These regions can't really contribute. Although, actually, I'm fairly sure this force here at Cherkask can. Georg Guzman. You can push out Cherkask. And attack Astrakhan. You're on the move already. You're within range to demand the surrender of Kazan. Demand the surrender. So new chaps are already replenishing. Um, a reasonable fleet. A reasonable fleet. A reasonable fleet there. Ah, yes, you need to do things as well. Well, you don't need to do things. I want you to do things. Great, the commercial port. Sell this over to Caccio. You do need another one, though. Keep on 
dropping some good upgrades. I'm fairly sure that's probably... I don't know, I've got plenty of navy naval action over here, so I don't need you here anymore. You're going to... First of all, you're going to go see what's over here. Okay, wreck it. <laughs> so that means whatever ships they are going to build, uh, they are no longer being built. So you're going to break that, then you're going to break that. Take advance, power loom, good stuff. Forty-six grand. Okay, gotta bear in mind that we do have offensives to do. But then again, we don't have to do most of them. So this army, yeah, you can pull out of Aviv. You can take their position. They will be unhappy, but I think there's a university here. Yeah. There it is. We've got lots of seminaries, which we're going to keep, because it promotes religious happiness. Critically the right, the correct amount of religious happiness. Ooh. You don't really need any cavalry support. You can take the infantry. You're going to recruit a new general. Heinrich Erlanger. You are going to call up some Grenadier Guard. Yeah, my lord. Good, you're going to replenish here. Fundamentally, we've not really got to fight too many Russian armies. They look like they want to try and get up to mischief. But Mr. Strack can push to this... Yep, he can push to this area here. And that's, we, can just, we can just bottle them in. And be like, okay, you can't go anywhere without being attacked by our armies. So, push the line up. Push up the line. Because again, we have two armies, nearly three, advancing on Moscow. So we're not really short of forces there. You guys withstood your siege. You're probably going to hold fairly close. Because what you're going to be doing is pretty much waiting for Russia to be destroyed so your army, you can get on aboard some ships and then redeploy it over to maybe the Americans. We might land, maybe, maybe the Americas, but we may land in Calcutta. That's an interesting option. Um, but yes, we're not going to do a lot of things this turn because we are a couple of turns away from Ashkan being destroyed. And Russia being, well, annihilated. Okay. So we're going to get rid of that university. Tax carrying on unencumbered. So most of my agents, yeah, they can just begin redeployment to uh, India. They don't need to go to America. Interesting. You may be going to try and get to the Don. Yeah, once we destroy Russia, then we're into a proper new phase where we're going to be pushing our armies through northern India. We're going to be landing in the Americas, clearing up some of the colonial holdouts there. Persia's probably going to keep trying to attack us at the... Oh, that's the, na that's the army that does it. Okay, where are you? I, sh I should have moved my navy out because they'd at least been in a position to attack, but I think they still land regardless. No, they don't, actually. That's pretty interesting. So, let's get my... Well, actually, what I can do... Do you have the range critically? You do. They've not got much. Okay, this is something that's going to happen. Okay. 
Okay, let's move them straight in for the attack. Don't don't do anything else. Don't park them nearby in case movement means I can no longer reach them. Let us attack this Indian army because we need to make sure that it is defeated. Otherwise, it will require us to redeploy a uh, redeploy an army to deal with an Indian invasion behind our lines, and they'll destroy all our buildings, and it's, it'll just be a nightmare. So. Heavies up front, followed by the thirds, and followed by the fourths. I mean, my, posi my, my positioning is pretty bad. Now, oh, line ahead. Although, actually, you're all. Yeah, all my seconds are up front, then my thirds. Okay, that's that's weird. To be honest, this may may be okay actually. So they're gonna go with the wind. We can try and cut towards them a bit, and then we'll turn with the wind later on in the action. But we just need to make a bit of progress. She may just go straight ahead for it now. So it looks like they're gonna try and cross our T. Which they may which they will do, because they are faster ships. Uh, however, we are, we have more powerful ships. Nasi Reis, Haskedi Hassan, and Denui. I'm butchering all these pronunciations, but there we are. So we are going to get within range to engage that fourth rate ship of the line. Or not, as the case may be. But I'm speeding up just in, just until we get into a bit more of the overall melee. So bring our line northward. Yeah, the sloop is going to experience some suffering. With her 17 guns that she can bring to bear. Switch to chain, start to knock out some of these masts. Just because you don't want these fellas to get away, I can deal with the damage they'll do to my ships. You can reload your guns, Get some good shots you can put into this 4 3 ship. Mizzen's gone. Excellent. You mean fifth rates or fourth rates? You're a more okay. Almost is gone. Yes. The one target, fellows. Sailing. Oh, she shot away to the very top. Yeah, I can deal with Hagen getting shot to pieces. You're going to switch to round shot now because you've got lots of good targets. Oh, load broadside right. Sorry, Mr. Sloop. He did not like that. And sail this ship ahead with chain shot ready. Reload chain. Give all these ships that are stuck behind that wreck new orders. You cut ahead of the fourth rate ship here. Knocked off the mast of that ship there. Back to 
excellent. You're going to be chain shot. As well as you, as well as are you. Again, just because this these guys have troops aboard, we do not want them getting away. Surrendered from two blasts of chain. Now push on. You guys push on the other side of their ships. So you're going to turn, start to try and engage that fourth rate there, because they're doing some good work. Load broadside left. Surprisingly, they are wavering after taking a full broadside, although you are going to pivot with chain. Well, they don't really need to pivot. Just keep doing what you're doing. Are you going to be able to shoot? Are you in range? I mean, you are. You're just missing. Stay firing round shot, just get involved. You're going to keep firing chain. Again, damage to my ch damage to my ships is acceptable. Come on, Adam Dewey. You're going to be firing chain. Knocked out the, sh the, sh the mast of the Shebek. So you're all going to be firing round sharp. Just piling in shots into her stern. smaller ships sail them out to over here to try to cut off cut off this fourth rate although you're going to try and do the same except firing chain the Shebek or you could probably just just board her board her get the pivot counterman the order and then fire now pivot now attack your guns are in fine shape so you're gonna be able to cut off Sally Reyes hopefully knock out knock some holes in their sails maybe knock out a mast Mizzen's fallen. Good stuff. Now slow her down. Get ready to cut across her stern. Everyone else is effectively done for. You're just gonna drop anchor behind this fourth rate. Across her. Actually, you might just pivot now, actually. Knocked another good hole into her sail. Come on, pivot, sir. You knocked out one mass, which means my other fourths and thirds will be able to catch her, but if you knocked out another one, that would be perfect. 
fire as she bears. Uh, there, her main mast has fallen. Chase her down. You get into her stern position. Surrendered and on fire. Good, and sail on over here to engage this ship. Full sail. Although you may keep firing chain, just to try and see if you can knock out foremast. Okay, everyone else is surrendered. So now let's just... Uh, let my ship sail up. Fire as she bears. You're going to fire a round shot and that's going to be okay. You say combatants even, but I don't think they are. She might even fire change. You're in a perfect shot to knock out her last mast. You've got one last mass. Take her out on the entire navy. The entire enemy amphibious force is ours. It's third rate. Fire full broadside. Come on, that mast. So many chain shots firing. How are you still alive? You just, just fire round shot now. Fire your broadside of four guns. You hammer with round shot. You keep going with chain. There he goes. As the gunners fall to their deaths. Switch to round shot. My admiral's foot routing. Well, I suspect nothing more from that fellow. So, let's pivot. See, he came back. Oh, splendid fellow. Brave hero. Although his ship's a bit, a bit knackered. Many dead gunners, we can see. Close victory. Well, it wasn't close. I took more damage than I should have done. Fair enough. Uh, do not take any ships into custody. These men are our prisoners. You men make for Portsmouth a repair. Although that has made it quite clear. I do have Naples. I still do have... Um, not Naples. I have Malta to invade. Let's bring this fleet out to the Sandy Bay to mark to cover Gibraltar. This navy can come out to the Mediterranean and have their strength bolstered. And effectively, although am I better off? Well, no, I suppose I'm just keep building light galleys. So we are going to need them. So you're going to pick up. Another selection of fourth rates, Limassol. Oh, you're damaged. So here at Gaza, let's get some. I've recruited all of my Admiral's flagship first rates. Fine, then I'll just build regular first rates. Something like that. Okay, cool. So this turn, what I want to do is I want to defeat Russia, the final victory. That's what I want. So I'm going to not attack. Well, I'm going to defeat Astrakhan, but then the final battle is going to be at Moscow. So that's kind of why everyone's <laughs> circling. Make 
make sure soon. Make sure you're still replenishing. But yeah, don't really worry about anywhere else. Russians can raid. I don't care. Not really. You... Okay, right, let's make a clear distinction. Stuff that goes into the Baltic is going to the Americas. Stuff that goes into the... Well, st everyone else is going to walk. Although, maybe St. Petersburg for the amphibious invasion of India. And then Konigsberg for those that are going to attack America. So you will need to start divvying up those responsibilities. Because we are going to... We do have a need to attack both continents at once. We've got a lot of upgrading we can do. There's no point in you attacking them anymore because you're not going to be... You're not going, well, they're not going to exist very long. Keep my effective blockade of Persia going. Uh, elsewhere, though, let's repair the mines... Okay, okay. Just spend the whole turn just upgrading stuff, I suppose. Because in in the in Europe, we've got a whole bunch of armies. Well, a lot of things we can upgrade. I know upgrading this military stuff seems a bit redundant, but I do not like seeing golden hammers. I do not like seeing them. I like. I like completed build cues. Okay, good. Upgrade this farm in Scotland. So, I mean, you don't have any surprise alliances, do you, Malta? Protector at Mysore, fine. They will be being attacked in due course. Um, but probably hit and turn. I don't want to spend any more money in this area lest it gets raided, which it, which it probably will. Then my guys that are currently on the march push towards their objectives. Yeah, I think Russia's, Russia's a bit desperate. They're aware that the only thing they can do is expand, or try and expand their territory, because they know that their existing territory is very, very, very much a threat. So, yeah. I mean, Astrakhan is going to be an auto-resolve. Got a lot of money to spend bringing Russia back into, or back up to the strength expected of a true European nation. Persia's gathering their strength. Don't worry, Mughal Empire. We are going to come after you. And pirates get a pirate. Yeah, really not done much in the Americas, but I think that's okay. The Americas was only a... a means to an end. It allowed us to get a reasonable source of income to remain solvent in Europe. Upgrade, upgrade. Well, I suppose let's not do anything like that yet. You're going to take Astrakhan. Astrakhan is at ours. And then final defeat of Russia. Let's bring everyone in. Bring everyone in. And then take my agents here and send them. I mean, I'll never make it to Calcutta before I get there, but I may as well give them something to aim for. And it does mean we have a clear need to keep our road network um, in as good a shape as possible. To get there, so let's take 
Let's take Herbert Tarba. He's been fighting with us for an awfully long time. We'll use him to take Moscow. So we have had a one of my recordings crash during the attack on Moscow. So what I should have done is actually saved before I attacked Moscow. Oh well. You live and learn. But yes, once we take Moscow then we can begin the attacks elsewhere. And I do like attacking India from multiple fronts. Because it means they can never... Well, they are less likely to be able to mass and stop you. Oh, snowing. How poetic. So we can attack from this direction. Let's knock down some walls. And the Grenadiers and Light Infantry Guards are going to go in the breach. One detachment to assault the walls over here. And then another detachment ready to advance around and attack this piece of wall. Cavalry, hold your ground. And my general, observe. Uh, how it says attack ground here to kill the enemy mortars because they are able to attack but not with only five crewmen at least not as much <laughs> four crewmen good Let's see we are in range but only one gun's firing so it's retarget who are they after? Who's gonna who's getting shot at? Nobody apparently. That was a oh no, it's my howitzers. Horse guard artillery. Regiment of horse, cuirassier, militia. I mean this could have been a tactical one to destroy because it'd make their redeployment more complicated. Oh, they just domed one of my general's bodyguard. Although that's guns from the fort, I suppose. One more volley against them. Although, I suppose your mortars are effectively nullified already. But one more volley. Just to attack this last crew. Come on. Two crewmen left. It's the two manning the gun. That's... Okay, let's begin to attack. I'll send one of my howitzers to attack other formations. Another unit keep attacking the fort. And then let's speed up time. Just fundamentally, all we're doing is poking holes in things now. So let's see. Oh, they missed the mortars. Looks like they are catching on, but I suspect once this wall is destroyed, they'll suddenly swarm down here to protect it, and that's when we push. Although attacking this section of the wall likely won't happen. There we go, the mortars are down. So my grenadiers and so on advance towards the breach. You men push up the flank. My cavalry advance. Oh, hello. That's actually not a bad position. I suppose I could do that. You men, your job could be to assault this position here and storm the gate. That's not a bad idea. Gunners just attack the breach with a direct fire. Oh no, they didn't like that. They've all gone back to... They've all pointed forward, unless they can try and lob shells over into the fort, which I don't think they will, but... Let's see.
appears they do not want to defend the gatehouse, which is perfectly acceptable. Which means that we can take it. Can my elite infantry push up? Because it looks like we've got some fusiliers that might be coming out to say hello. Can you men scale, 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 and then this unit? Get up here, ready to form a square to block off the gate. Oh, they're placing stakes. I see. I suppose my gunners could attack this section of wall. Just to damage the guns and knock them off their carriages and so on. Quick climb still attacks. Oh, that's quite a large number of dead men. Good old quick climb. Obviously, so Empire being Empire, they could climb these these ropes to get up here, but instead they'd much rather run into the port, which makes no sort of sense. Push my grenadiers up. They're going to make ready to storm. Everyone else is scaling the walls. You guys will be particularly useful because you'll man the fire step and fire into the fort. Here they come. And the mercenaries. So my men will outnumber them. It's just a case of will they bug? It's like some of them are some of them are starting to. Bring out my general, my lifeguards, make ready. We've captured this gatehouse, which is pretty good. My cavalry. Get over here. My lifeguards, get in here. And my line infantry guards, get in here. Yeah, they suddenly worked it out. Wait a minute, this isn't the way to get in. We need to go up here. So you men engage the ninth as well. They've abandoned this wall, so now I'm going to push infantry in. And give all my cavalry orders push in and check they go through the correct gate. My Freikor are fire it will off. So my general is only here just to uh, maintain actually my, my how it says fire. Actually what's the line of fire? You attack here straight line should be through a bunch of Russians. Well let's test it out. slammed into the wall. I want them to detonate just shy, because they do go through the wall. Kind of sounds a bit cheaty, but... Although it looks like they are... Oh, no, it's not working that way. Very well. Round shot the regiment of horse in the centre. Freikorps go for the howitzers. Curacier reg taxi go for the regiment of horse. Hohenzollern Curacier. Actually, my Vile Dragoons go for the my Val Dragoons go for the uh, center. My heavy cavalry go for the back of this combat. So they're already defending a breach. Then suddenly, oh my god! The new men storm off the walls and attack them. Same over here. Guard musketeers are, are a bit to worry about, but not massive. 
Don't worry, my general's here to defend me and my men. Avoid stakes. There we go. So now we've got more infantry in. Guard infantry in the centre, although they are going down fast. Guerrilla mercenaries are doing okay. My artillery just stopped firing. Same with my howitzers. Freikor cavalry go for the guerrillas. Get some infantry up to help support my cavalry. New men also run over here. Keep attacking the regiment of horse. <clears throat> Starting to see some melee. Start to see some melee issues. Just a second, everyone. Hmm, weird. All uh, right. No, don't just stand there and do nothing. You men form up. Form up in the square. You need to kill this regiment of horse. Or you need to kill these irregulars. So you can push up and also help my infantry fighting in the centre. Although they are wavering, I suppose the, the entire army, the garrison is wavering. So keep the pressure up. And eventually they may all crack. One last gorilla. Get over here. Wild Dragoons, you've almost killed all their regiment of horse. No, you men don't walk. Run! Some buggy fellas. But still, it looks like the enemy are foundering. The human need to kill these last last handful of infantry. You're right, cavalry, go over here. Bright core. Get your carbines up. Boom. First foot guards cannot compete with our firepower. Storm out my dragoons. Go for the garrison militia. Have a jewel. Ready. Fire. It's these guard musketeers, they they held out really well. Nevertheless, Russia is destroyed in the last Battle of Moscow. Ooh. Hurrah! Team men make well let's get all our repairs done. The university's there. So if we're not done the university. Now we'll almost do it. I'll take minus 21 down to minus 1. Congratulations, you men. Okay, these troops, these two armies. Okay, right. Let's not send them all up to St. Petersburg. Although I suppose you guys actually have this force here, which can also move out. Let's send the garrison of St. Petersburg to the capital where they can be reorganised into a, a more complete army. Get some good upgrades while we can. I don't need all these ports. I don't need all these military ports but we may as well. I think so 
here at Georgia. Balthazar Faber. Minus two. You're... Is that something I can solve with militia, maybe? What about Dagestan? Alexis Muller. Minus ten. That is not something I can I can do with infantry just yet. Okay, let's give... Uh, you guys could push up to Dagestan. Well, let's just keep all of these guys, these armies that are kind of more garrison armies, keep them pushing up to the front as well. Because they are still useful. Okay, then at Königsberg to invade America, we can send our rocket troop... Well, we're sending a lot of armies to America. And when they're all ready... Okay, send these guys back to Bavaria as well. Okay, let's dump all the rest of the money we've got into our our uh, industry because we haven't fully upgraded a lot of things even these smaller farms that we haven't done let's do them okay good stuff okay right so where is it ah so we appear to not get it Russia's, Russia has been destroyed message um, but that means we are pushing towards Persia so you're going to stay where you are you're going to push to the north everyone else is going to keep moving on then up here in Poland we're going to start to build up our <laughs> transport fleet Then same thing here at St. Petersburg, although it might take a little bit longer. But cool, let's hit end turn. Let everything tick on, another turn. Yeah, that's the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards moving up. No more Russia, good. So now Persia is the next, is the current larger threat to worry, we're well, not even worry about really. Our current threat to destroy. It's another army being pushed out to attack us. But don't worry, they're about to have their own armies be sent against them. Pirates gonna pirate, do not care. Right. Missionary in Mesopotamia. Get into get into Persia, capital. Port blockaded at Kingston, fine. Workers on strike in Georgia, no longer on strike. So let's cease the recruitment of more militia, because that will just keep going down. Keep the road upgrades coming, because we're going to need them. Yeah, build a church here, just to keep... Kazan heading towards the true faith. Although you do need good roads. Same with Astrakhan. Same with Kazan. Same with lots of things, really. Keep the construction going. So you, Frederick Faber. You may try and push through Central well, Central Asia, I suppose. Rather than go down the through the uh, Caucasus with the rest of the troops. Because we are going to want a good number of troops heading down towards Asia. Or well, the Middle East. A new town. 
Lviv it is. Good. Make sure everything that's damaged is getting repairs. Give you an order to infiltrate Hyderabad. We may well have doubled up on some of these orders, but that's okay. This force here at Jerusalem can march out. I mean, man, we're going to be churning out the uh, economic development here. Good, 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 good. I haven't forgotten you, Valletta. That's what these guys are for. Yeah, you gotta keep replenishing. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. A whole lot of upgrading in northern Italy. Just keep on upgrading. So much growth. Okay, right, so big navy. Sail up to Hoffen just to check where that army's gone. I mean, that's where they're gathering, but it's not a very good army. Not that I mind. Lots of good upgrades. Elat. Yeah, it's got a new. Potter. Um, right, what I think I want to do though is bring you down to here, maybe have you fighting more of a battlefield occupation, then next turn you're going to be ready to hit Esfahan. You're still replenishing and waiting for some Royal Cairo Infantry Guard to march up. Everyone else is still on the way. Minus two. Okay, let's stay in here just for now. Currently, well, the, the bankruptcy thing should go away pretty soon, because you are definitely no longer bankrupt. Okay. Let's hit and turn. Nick, my agents are going to swarm all over India. There'll be nowhere for them to hide. This is why it's important to keep the road building infrastructure uh, in tip-top condition. So when you need to send guys all over the continent, they should get there pretty quick. Looks like they are advancing. Well, they are. They're getting ready to engage us in battle. It's a full army there. That's a nice army. Too bad it won't be useful. Okay. Yeah, you can interfere with trade as much as you like. It does not matter now. We own all of Europe. Just keep on pushing. Good, good, good. So then up here, got a bunch of light galleys, got better roads, upgrade some of the military infrastructure. We are going to be a prosperous peoples. Everyone will get a share of the wealth and development and prosperity. Upgrade you to a industrial building. Okay, let's check all of our infrastructure first. I wouldn't be surprised if most of our buildings or areas don't have good roads. Something roads were not a secondary 
target, but they were less of an issue because we needed, well, we fundamentally needed more industry and more uh, military might. I can already see when we're hopping around the infrastructure screen, we've still got lots of areas with industry we can upgrade. Okay, 2,700 odd left. Upgrade what we can, especially when it's delicious. Uh, last, well, it's at the top of the but it's the, it's the most advanced building they can build. That's my favourite thing to, do, to get done. <laughs> Port blockaded. Path block. This is everyone just kind of walking over everyone, trying to get back. Although you... Sigismund is good to attack India from the east. As will Mr. Talbot. Okay, now it's time to advance. Let's put an army into attack Esfahan. We should be able to support them. Uh, can you get... Okay, you're in trouble. Push down to help them as quickly as you can. You're probably going to end up having to attack this force in the north. You're going to have to push up even though you're depleted. Cavalry is going to be able to catch up. The interesting thing is, let's see if they actually attack us, because they... Ah, we do have a support army. It's this army in range. Not the best army to attack, but if they attack us, we can hunker down and go on the defensive and do what we can, I suppose. Because you don't get there either. Or you do, actually. Oh, it's the guns that don't get there. Keep on pushing. Okay. Let's hit enter. Let everything take over one more time. Then, if nothing happens, I'll... Well, I'll, I will attack um, either the Persian capital or the army in the north. Good. Yeah, I want to get one back to Munich. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're gonna are they gonna smack my army in one go? Opportunity to intercept? No, because the more important oh, army. This. <laughs> okay, this <laughs> this could go really badly wrong. Um, but what the hell? We'll give it a go. Got quick climb. Got some howitzers. Got some good infantry. No support. It was a bit dumb for me to push them up so far on their own. But let's do it. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to, to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for hopefully not too much of a bloodbath on my end. See you, everyone. <laughs>